Now, for more on the story, we cross live to our reporter, Sarah Kimani, who's in Nairobi, Kenya. Good evening, Sarah. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, what are some of the highlights of today's discussions at TICAD? Well, uh, today's discussions are centered around uh, a $30 billion investment that uh, Japan is going to make uh, to Africa. And they're saying that this money, the $30 billion, will be spread over three years. And this money will be used for infrastructure development, uh, for human resource development. Because according to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan, one of the things that uh, Japanese companies have realized uh, when they come to work in Africa is that the continent lacks uh, skilled workers. And so they will spend some money trying to train uh, skilled workers who will then work in those companies and also in African companies. Then the other chunk of the money will be used uh, for resilience, uh, for health, and they're talking about uh, spending at least $10 billion towards uh, creating uh, better health systems on the continent and especially uh, to reduce maternal and child deaths. Now, Sarah, you've just mentioned this 30 billion US dollars that was pledged by Japan. Now, how have African leaders received this announcement? Well, uh, there was uh, uh, some sigh of relief. Uh, when President uh, Jacob Zuma of South Africa spoke, uh, he said uh, infrastructure development is key for the development of the continent. And so he said uh, this money will go a long way into improving uh, trade relations uh, because he says one of the things that hinders intra-African trade is because there is no uh, proper connection of uh, if it is roads, if it is railways between the countries. And also he spoke about uh, uh, things like electricity, saying most countries in Africa have failed to uh, industrialize because they lack uh, proper energy, they lack enough uh, e electricity. Uh, President Kenyatta of Kenya and uh, Idris Deby of Chad, who also spoke during the forum, also said they would like to see assistance uh, by Japan to Africa towards uh, dealing with issues of terrorism and radicalization of young people. Uh, Idris Deby, who is currently the chairman of the African Union, actually going on to say that there is need uh, for Japan and international community to see if they can uh, put some money into the anti-terrorism fund uh, which was launched uh, in Kigali, Rwanda during the African Union summit. Sarah, now just briefly, what can we expect for the rest of the conference? Well, uh, tomorrow, which is the day that the conference will close, uh, we expect that uh, the members of uh, uh, heads of state will come up, will adopt uh, 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 the Nairobi Declaration, uh, which is a draft document that uh, has been prepared by ministers uh, from the African countries and also from Japan. And among the issues it will be talking uh, to is how can Japan support Africa uh, to develop its infrastructure, to develop uh, human resource, but also to deal with terrorism. Uh, we also expect that uh, President Zoom of, uh, of South Africa will be continuing to hold our bilateral talks. Today we saw him holding talks with Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta and also Equatorial Guinea's President uh, Ngwema. So we expect that will continue but there's also going to be a special session of East African heads of state and Southern African heads of state uh, together with the Prime Minister of Japan. One of the things uh, we have noticed from this conference as I wind up is that uh, the Prime Minister has uh, concentrated on dealing with regional economic blocks uh, which he says is easier to be able to deal, to do trade with the bloc rather than country to country. We'll have to leave it there, Sarah. Thank you very much for that update. That was our reporter, Sarah Kimani, joining us live from Nairobi, Kenya, for the latest on TICAD. We'll have more news for you after the break.